In just a matter of days, a long-standing driver disruption will return to normal. Road crews are putting the finishing touches on the Second Street project in Vincennes. It's a project more than 20 years in the making, and it left the road closed for a year. News 10's Eric Stidman explains. It is almost time to breathe a sigh of relief. The road cones and crews will soon be packing up. Second Street spent 20 years on the books, and by next week, it will be in the books. I think it looks really nice, and I look forward to open it to traffic next week. Vincent's Mayor Joe Yoakum says seeing this finished is a long time coming. His office broke ground on it one year ago this month, and a strategic switch helped speed up the project. The city traded its federal road money for state money. That eliminated a lot of federal process and, and things that you had to go through to complete this project. Actually, had we not done the exchange, this project wouldn't even started until this time next year. It's a project that carried a price tag of around $2 million, but it also changed the face of downtown Vincennes. Drivers will see new pavement, traffic lights, traffic lamps, and curbs. At one point, crews even shored up some sketchy basements to get rid of old coal chutes. They knew it was going to be a little bit of an inconvenience, and uh, you know they they're happy that we worked the best we could with them. And and I'm appreciative that they they cooperated with us through this whole process. We knew that it was going to be a hassle for uh, for those businesses, but now that you know we're at the end, it's I think they're they're happy with uh, the end result. While the work has created a driver disruption, the end game will bring a new edge to this neck of the woods. It's a continued sign by city leaders to keep pounding the pavement, and it may not be the last piece of pavement to catch a makeover. Uh, next year, about this time, we should do the, the letting or take the bids on the second Niblack project, which is uh, helps uh, eliminate a couple problems out in that area. Uh, we have trouble with the uh, tractor trailer semis getting hung up on that intersection going to shot Jim Tron and, and uh, uh, Wabash Steel. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. Crews still have to stripe the road before they call it finished. All right, weather